Greetings all. Van here for Aquarius's weekly message. Okay. Aquarius, I'm very interested to get into your message today because this full moon has had very interesting energies. It is 444 as in the time right now for me, so if that is relevant for you, I'm going to keep these to the side. The first two cards that came out for you are Judgment and the Ace of Wands. You are being shown into a new opportunity, and I really hope you don't go into this with a lack mentality or a sort of bitter mentality, because we also have the Princess of Cups in the reverse. Maybe going into a new situation fresh off of a, like, a breakup or a firing or some other painful shift in your life. Going into this new situation with that attitude will not be beneficial for you. Yeah, that makes sense. Queen of Swords and Ace of Swords in reverse. It would sabotage the entire situation. So the first thing that I want to say, Aquarius, is do not have an attitude with this new situation. Even though it may not be what you initially wanted, it may not be initially how you thought this should play out. It is playing out the way that it needs to. And having a harsh judgment or thinking yourself above the experience you're going through would, like I said, defeat the purpose of what you are going through. What you are trying, what the spirit is trying to teach you. Because I almost feel like you're like, nope. But this is all to teach you your self-worth. And that became, that was very evident in the ladies that appeared for you. So I pulled a message from the Divine Feminine Oracle deck before each reading today. And you get St. Bridget, Our Lady of Exalt, Exalted Light. I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. Very independent and self-assured, this beautiful woman. You also have, I'm going to try not to push through this, Kadaja. Kadaja, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. That is a beautiful, abundant, high vibrational energy. And what I want you to go into this next opportunity with that you are prepared, that you are ready. But I feel like you guys are very stressed. I just had like the stress ache right here in my, my temple. Now, that being said, that could be from my own stuff and not sleeping very well. But I did say that right as we were speaking about you working in this new situation. So, and the pop, the energy about it. So there might be a lot of frustration with your current environment. I don't want that to permeate and ruin your beautiful energy just because things have gone wrong in the past because you have been hurt in the past it does not mean you have to continually subscribe to that narrative if you are just focusing on how you were hurt in the past and how everyone had hurt you you will never give your chance you never give yourself a chance to heal you'll never give yourself a chance to be whole and receive that energy from yourself these women have are like the embodiment of self-love. They do not look outside of themselves for heaven. They do not look outside of themselves for anything. The divine masculine supports our strong focus and active side, allowing it to express ourselves while helping us bring our dreams and ideas into form with kindness and wisdom. Ooh, that's the first time the divine masculine has come out. And just by the by, 22 makes four. 444. And then it was 422, right when I said that. So definitely four is your number. You have remembrance. The frequency of remembrance supports the, our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with valuable information and tools that flow gracefully with and in this life. Absolutely. You're not being asked to forget everything that you went through. You're not being asked to forget every horrible thing that you've experienced. 
I'm asking you to not make that the core of who you are. Because you are so much more than the trauma that has been put onto you. You are so much more than the abuse that you have carried. And the longer you carry it as your identity, the harder it is going to be for you to release. The harder it is going to be for you to acknowledge that there is something new coming in. This Divine Masculine is giving the energy and push for you to accomplish what it is you want to accomplish, but we also need some emotional accountability and awareness right here. We have consciousness. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to pay to focus our attentions on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. What I mean by this could be if you are a clear audience and you hear like I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not clairaudient myself. But, like, chakra points. Okay, so yes, I will relate to one that I can. Chakra points when they run through. I myself right now am experiencing a energy in my root chakra. And I'm not entirely sure what it is besides this full moon. And I know that it could... It, in this situation, is in reference to how you have felt very insecure, unstable, and unsafe in the past upbringings of your life, which is why it would be very easy for you to adopt that lack mentality and continue to go into these situations with that bad attitude, but it would only perpetuate that hell that you had found yourself in. And so the remembrance and consciousness the Spirit is bringing to you right now is to have that strength, maybe even pulling from your Divine Masculine if you need to call upon that inner strength, to shift your vibration, your frequency, your mindset, and how your life is flowing, how your life is functioning. It is easier said than done. I have been making these shifts myself for the past seven years, but I can promise you that the healing that I have experienced, that I have helped others experience, has made me a happier, more whole person that does not hang on to the bitter resentments of her past. Universal Love 44 coming out again. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. This is t touching on a lot of um, universal power. And I feel like that might be one of the gifts that are coming online for you. It's your ability to tap into universe's energy, whether it be through manifestation, energy work like Reiki divination, clairaudience, like I was mentioning, whatever it is, it is very clear to me that spirit is trying to work in your life, but your mindset right now is the blockage. Your mindset is what is keeping all of this from coming in. Like embodiment of the four of cups right here, Aquarius. Let your trauma get out of your way. It does not need to be that strong on you. You can recognize it. You can claim it as something that you have experienced, but you do not have to be defined by it. You are so much more than the pain you've went through. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.